opportunities and why China? If you have never been to China, probably Beijing, Shanghai, Shenzhen and Guangzhou make no difference to you, right? Uh, it's, it's totally the same where you will go. Those who know something about China, they would say Beijing is a capital, Shanghai would be something like New York, they would know Shenzhen, it's a good IT place, and uh, they might say Hangzhou is a place where there is Alibaba. Probably somebody would know that, right? Uh, so uh, let me go and explain why they are different, and especially in terms of business. If you want to start a business, there is a huge difference which one you really choose. And if you're looking for jobs, it's also different kind of jobs you can get and where are which jobs. So Beijing has 10 to 20 uh, universities that all combined together produce around a million people in IT every year. And uh, these young graduates, they want to get involved in, in many, many things. They want to experience, they want to learn. Uh, they, they're not afraid to work all day and all night just to get that experience because their job market for Chinese students is very tough. There are so many people, in China more than 1.5 billion people live today, and uh, for, for them to improve themselves and build their professional career, it's super hard. It's super hard for them. And uh, they are looking for all opportunities, especially if there is a, some foreign company or foreign startup where they can really like get their ideas, uh, where they really can like get, get first time expression to be thinking outside of Chinese ordinary thinking. So Beijing is a crowded place, definitely with talent and with young people who are ready to work. Shanghai is totally opposite in many ways, not, not in all ways, right? There are also a lot of students that are also ready to work, but not so much in IT, like Beijing, for example. Um, Shanghai is more fashionable, it's more modern than Beijing, definitely, and uh, it's totally different way of of observing the whole startup community. There is a startup community, um, there are some co-working spaces and uh, there, there are investors as well like in Beijing, but simply Shanghai is, uh, is in different road, different way compared to Beijing. Beijing has something called uh, Zhongwen Tsun area and in Zhongwen Tsun area you have one uh, Inoue street. In this street uh, on the one side you have all these co-working spaces, incubators, accelerators, all one next to each other. You have the whole building. Every floor is a different accelerator. The, the, all the people go there to start a company. From the other side of that same street, you have all angel investors, all VCs, all bankers, all lawyers, all dentists who want to invest in crazy startup ideas, all bunch of stuff. And uh, uh, this, this street is in, in between different universities. So if you have some idea and you want to test, the one university is like two blocks away from you. And you can go there and find regular students and give them to test your app or test your website or try your idea. So it's an amazing place in Beijing. Shanghai has a, its own first in China tech park. And uh, there are big companies like uh, Samsung, Philips, uh, Google, uh, pardon, Baidu, and, and others, and it's also very good, but not the same like Beijing, definitely. And uh, we have Shenzhen, who is totally different from these two. Um, Shenzhen, all yeah, like all places in China have the startup community, but Shenzhen is more hardware focused. Shenzhen is a world hub for small gadgets. Uh, you have a, a big street in the middle of Shen, uh, Shenzhen and if you're not there for some time you would think this is a financial district. Tall buildings, uh, full of people, everybody looks serious, right? Those people are all doing overseas sales. Uh, from Shenzhen you're basically, in the streets of Shenzhen you can uh, fix your iPhone, you can fix your Mac in the middle of the street. Like you eat maybe street food here, you can on the street fix your any device you have you might have. Um, he, there are a couple of guys. Uh, I mean, uh, on YouTube you can find them. they assemble their own iPhone 6s from the parts that they can purchase in the local uh, local store. Literally, they, they assemble the full iPhone uh, from the 
small markets around. It's crazy. You can find the video on YouTube somewhere and see. So uh, that covers Shenzhen mostly. Just think, if you have a hardware idea for hardware, a hardware startup, Shenzhen is the place. Hangzhou. Um, Chinese people here would say, if you are moving to Hangzhou to start your startup, um, you are potentially sending a signal you want to be acquired by Alibaba. And majority of people are going there to start an adventure, either to get a seed fund from Alibaba or to, to just have a relationship with people working there. And that's mostly Hanjo. They also have a good talent. Uh, Alibaba invested in lots of education around and built a, a, a beautiful city there. It's a wonderful place to go. There's no reason why not to choose that one, at least. Go, go check it out when you're in China. Um, 